The Bendu's origins are, well, basically up to speculation, but here's what we do know. Making his first and only appearance so far in Star Wars, the Bendu appears in the TV show Star Wars Rebels. According to the show, the Bendu reside on the planet Adalon, coincidentally where the main cast maintain a base of operations during the show. From what we know, the Bendu is an entity of the Force, and as explained by himself, neither dark nor light. Instead, the Bendu claims to have been the balance in between the dark and the light, the neutrality, the Ashel and the Bogan, similar to what Luke Skywalker believed as in The Last Jedi, balance. There's more theory I have to speculate on, but we'll wait until the end of the video for that breakdown, including my speculation that the Bendu will appear in the Ahsoka TV show. Sometime after Kanan lost his sight in a battle with Maul at the Sith Temple on Malachor, Kanan was called by the Bendu while meditating at Chopper Base on Adalon. After a series of personal tests for Kanan on account of his lost vision, he finally found the Bendu out of the wilderness. Upon arriving, the Bendu informed Kanan that his imbalance woke him. And so here, Kanan would begin a new training and become a sort of apprentice again, with the Bendu being his master. After explaining to the Bendu his fears and preoccupations, the Bendu shed knowledge on some of the teachings Kanan implied from the Jedi, ultimately showing Kanan that his injury led him to sever his connection with the Force. At a later time, when Ezra and Kanan sought aid, they went to the Bendu when they were confronted with issues by Darth Maul. As the Bendu corrected Ezra's perception of the holocrons being merely cubes with information, he sent Ezra on a mission to recover the Sith holocron from a nearby cave filled with Krikna, or as we would commonly call them, spiders. Here we get a glimpse into the perception and thinking of the Bendu. As Kanan enters the cave, the Bendu remarks to himself that either their relationship would mend, or perhaps they'd be killed escaping. He also remarked after that either option is simply the will of the Force. It also seems that though the Bendu provided his wisdom, in ways he was a villain. When Ezra and Kanan were confronted by Darth Maul, the Bendu disappeared, leaving with no option but to handle the matter themselves. Ultimately, Thrawn comes to know of the rebel base on Adalon and pursues the rebels there. While asking for aid from the Bendu, Kanan angers him and calls him a coward for his lack of intervention. In angering the Bendu, the Bendu made known that he was again a neutral entity and did not take sides, even exclaiming that perhaps the Force willed the destruction of the Jedi. As the Bendu was angered, he transformed into a lightning cloud above him, and he made it known for both groups, Imperials and Rebels, to leave the world at once. In the process, he not only killed Imperials, but even some Rebels. During the battle, Thrawn and the Imperials... So a few quick theories on Bendu. In my mind, I wonder and speculate that the Bendu is actually the father on Mortis. During the TV show, The Clone Wars, the father serves as a neutrality or the balance between the son, the darkness, and the daughter, the light. Was the Bendu actually a reincarnate of the father? Could possibly be. I also speculate this as the Bendu craves to be in balance and left out of the matters of the day. With the trials he faced balancing his celestial children, perhaps this was his time to rest and was so interrupted. Finally, I do believe that the Bendu may play an important role in the upcoming Ahsoka show. Dave Filoni confirmed himself that there is a moment where Ahsoka and Bendu meet off screen that was never aired. Before Ahsoka goes to Malachor, where she confronts Vader and is pulled into the world between worlds, the following dialogue is said, as posted by Dave Filoni. The Bendu says to Ahsoka, You are set on this confrontation then. And Ahsoka replies, I have to know the truth. The Bendu then replies, So be it. But understand this, much will change as a result of this encounter, including you. Ahsoka then replies, Isn't that true of all things? As time advances, the Bendu clarifies, My dear, when I say change, I mean death. Ahsoka inquires, So will I die? The Bendu replies, Will you? I didn't know that. Goodbye then, Ahsoka Tano, former Jedi Knight. So in short, this is what we know of the Bendu, and there is so much more to speculate on this, including, in my opinion, his very likely involvement in the Filoni-verse show, Ahsoka, where we will see all of these characters reprise their role in live action. What do you think of the Bendu in Rebels? Do you think he'll play a pivotal role in the Ahsoka show? Let me know in the comments below. Again, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.